Hi guys, welcome back to Winter's Thoughts. Today I'm going to be doing another, which I know you guys love so much, mascara, re well, kind of first impressions review thing. Um, this is the Fergie Center Stage Collection. Um, it is by Wet n Wild. Of course, you probably knew that. This is the Turn Up the Volume Mascara. Supposedly it has maximum volume, extreme length, false fiber formula, instant lash extensions. I guess we'll see. The, it says big girls don't cry. I'm assuming that means it's black. So <laughs> let's find out if this is even worth the couple bucks I spent on it. Oh my gosh, they packaged it well. Look at that. So it comes like this, separated. It's a very, ooh, very shiny. This is the brush, curved, um, and then it's got this very shiny, I'm afraid it's going to blind you, wet and wild, oops, I down, wet and wild packaging, and um, it says Fergie up here at the top, and then the little cap that you take off before you put the mascara wand in. I know you're not supposed to pump it, but I always usually just get it on there, but I'm just spinning it so nobody yells. Possibly maybe pumping it a little bit where you can't see. And that is the wand with the mascara on it. Doesn't look like anything spectacular, but let's give it a whirl. So this is pre- um, mascara. I really didn't do very much um, like makeup. And this for some reason looks like it's not there, but it is. The rest of that really is there. But, um, anyway, let's just give this a, I'm gonna have to get a compact because for some reason I can't see myself very well in that. So, let's see. Okay, well, so far I will give it an A for effort. It's um trying to separate and my lashes just look really really thin. There's no volumizing at all. See? It's like all really really super thin. I don't really see any length that I didn't already have at all. So far every wet and wild mascara I've used has been a real bust. I don't have good luck with their mascaras at all, so I'm going to put a little bit on the bottom lashes, which I probably need to trim my bottom lashes again. They're getting too long, and I hate that. I just trimmed my top ones because they, I hate when they touch my eyelids. That drives me crazy. It's a strange thing to tell people. I just trimmed my eyelashes, but it drives me nuts when they touch my, uh, my eyelids. Let's try this eye and see if we have any better luck. No, I'm not seeing any volume or any any volumizing, any lengthening that I already didn't. Oh, that hair is annoying. Excuse me. I have a hair that's like you can't see it, but I can see it. That's like straight up going in my eye. As you can see, there's no real. Oh, that was fun. I just totally <laughs> poked myself in the eye. One thing I will say for it, it has some serious lasting power because you can't even. Sorry. You can't even wipe it off. It won't wipe away. Alright, so I'm not impressed at all. And this is the second Wet n Wild. Um, I, well, mascara. I don't think they eat eye product. I like, I like most of their eye products, like, you know, eyeshadows. But this is the second Wet n Wild mascara that I've really hated. I mean, I can't say I hate it. It just isn't doing anything. I mean, like, it's just darkening my lashes. This is exactly what my lashes would look like if they were just darker. It's So it's another failed mascara. And it's not waterproof either, which, so it, but it stays on. I mean, like, your skin real well. So if that's any indication of how it's going to be to get off, it's going to be a I'm not, I can't even, 
kind of get any volume here. Well, one thing I'll say for it is I can't even get it to clump. So <laughs> it's not a clumpy mascara. So. But yeah, this is a, a complete fail, guys. I I have no no extra volume. Let's see. I can actually get the bottom ones to clump up, though. See? Top ones weren't clumping with the bottom ones. No problem. Lovely. But no, it did nothing. This uh, Fergie Wet n Wild mascara does nothing but color your lashes black. Um, this is how long my lashes are naturally, but now they're blacker. So, I don't know. I'm not impressed. This is the second Wet n Wild mascara that has been like compl a complete dud to me, and I'm, I am i do not think I'm going to try any more Wet n Wild <laughs> mascaras unless you guys have a suggestion. Maybe one that you've tried that's worked really well for you. Let me know. I would love to I would love to try a Wet n Wild mascara because they're cheaper that, you know, actually works. That'd be great. But so far I've had really poor luck with them. So I'm not even gonna come back and tell you how this worked out. I'll write down in the um down bar, you know, if it if they fell or they stayed up or whatever, because I can tell you right now that it didn't do anything. It's not it's it's kind of a useless mascara unless you just want a color. It's kind of if you, if I wanted a natural looking mascara, I would go with one of those ones that are healthy for your lashes. You know, I wouldn't just get a, I wouldn't get this one. I would get one of those ones that supposedly have health benefits for your lashes. I would um, do that. I'm using the Lumiere Lumine. I don't know what it is. The BB cream that's supposed to be luminous. So I feel like I'm all oily looking, and it's driving me nuts because I'm way more luminous than normal. Usually I use matte finishes, so I put that on and I'm like, whoa, I feel like I'm like really shiny and glowy. So if that's if I look like shinier than usual, that's why I'm trying that um, BB cream, which I like the consistency and I like the uh, the coverage it gives me, but it does make me feel like I'm I don't know because maybe because I have naturally oily skin in my T zone. A real luminous finish is not appealing to me because I make my own luminosity. You know what I mean? So yeah. But anyway, as for the mascara, guys, I wouldn't suggest buying it. I mean, it, let me get up close so you can see. It looks exactly like my lashes, just darker. I mean, so, if you just want your lashes darker for a cheap price, I guess buy it. But I'd suggest buying one of those mascaras that promises to have some kind of, you know, growth or health benefit or good for your lashes if you're going to go for the natural look. Because those always have a natural look. Sorry guys, I feel like every I feel like the last two mascaras I've tried have failed and I feel terrible about that, but we'll just keep trying. Alright guys, I will see you again real soon. I hope you guys are doing wonderful. Please take care of yourselves and each other. And if you haven't already subscribed, I would love it if you wouldn't. You'd stick around. And I can't think of anything else to say to keep you here. Just kidding. <laughs> have a wonderful day and I will talk to you again real soon. Bye-bye.